YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another watched and commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with a video where we're gonna be doing a prediction video, but we're gonna let Madden decide what the Washington Commanders record will be. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified about the NFL, or in this case, our Washington Commanders. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as you see on your screen, we're going to be going through a Madden 23 franchise simulation. We're going to be doing a record prediction for the Washington Commanders, but Madden will be the one deciding it. So... For an example, we're going to simulate week one versus the Jaguars, and we're going to simulate for the whole season and see what Madden says our record is going to be. My IRL prediction for us is 10 and 7, but let's see if Madden is on the same you know, side as me. Then we're going to be better, then we're going to be worse. So week one, we're going to simulate and see what we do. So let's go ahead and get the season underway. We're going to advance to next week, and let's see who they have winning this game. It got to be us. It better be us. So they have us actually losing week one to the Jaguars. 10 to 7. Wow. 10 to 7. Let's see how that game went down. Is there a way I could go ahead and like check how that game went down or something like that? Because why did we lose 10 to 7? Was there like something that happened? A major injury or something like that? Let's see. Hold on. How did we lose 7 to 10? So. We got 320 offensive yard gain the whole entire time. This was just a terrible game. We scored a touchdown in the second quarter, and we didn't score for the rest of the game. So we're starting off the season 0-1. I don't see that happening in real life, but according to Madden, we will be losing week one to the Jacksonville Jaguars. So let's go ahead and go over to week two versus the Detroit Lions and see if we can shake back and get a win. So Detroit, week two, their best player, TJ Hawkinson, tight end, one of the better tight ends in the NFL. Let's see if we shake back versus the Lions. And we do in a dominant fashion. We, we beat the Detroit Lions 35-7. to now, that's something that I can see happening in real life. <laughs> no, I ain't going to lie. I do think we're going to beat the uh, the Detroit Lions, but 35-7, to 7, I wouldn't expect that, but I'll be happy if that happens, okay? Now, let's go over to week three. Um, hopefully, we can carry this momentum into the first division matchup. Carson Wentz playing the Eagles for the first time. Let's see. And we actually get a win, 17-10. to 10. Two runs in a row for the boys, so, man, that's good. That's good. I hope this happens in real life, besides the Jacksonville loss. I hope we're 3-0 and right now in real life, but I love to see it, man. Two back-to-back -back wins. Now, let's go ahead and beat these Cowboys, but let's see what they say we're going to do here uh, versus the Cowboys. They actually have us losing 28-14, to so now we're 2-2 two and two on the season. Let's look at the standings and see uh, East and give you a bigger picture. So, the Giants is 3-3 three and three right now, or we're 3-1. I should say, and everybody else is two and two. There's no way that happening in real life. There's no way that's happening in real life. But according to Madden, the Giants are three and one, where everyone else is two and two. Now let's go ahead and simulate to next week's game versus the Tennessee Titans. In real life, Chase Young and Brian Robinson will be making their season debuts. Uh, but we gotta worry about Derrick Henry. So. Let's go ahead and jump into the next week here, and let's see what they say we're going to do versus the Titans. So they have us beating the Titans in a dominant fashion again. So we have two dominant wins. First, a 35-7 victory over the Lions, and then a 31-13 victory over the Titans in Week 5. Now we have Week 6 Thursday Night Football game versus the Chicago Bears. Let's see what they say we're going to do against the Bears. We got to beat the Bears. There's no way we lose to the Bears. Am I right? Like, there's no way. We beat the Bears, too. So now we're 4-2 and two on the season, facing the 6-0 and oh Green Bay Packers. So it's looking like post-Devontae Adams or the Packers are still being the Packers. So they're 6-0. and oh. They never really play well in FedEx Field. So this could be a really, really good game. You know, we're coming in at 4-2. and two. If this is how we are in real life, 4-2, and 6-0 and oh versus the Packers, this is going to be a great game to watch. Um, but let's see if we can get them their first loss of the season, man. Hopefully we can. Uh, let's see. Green Bay, first loss of the season. 
and we do we actually upset the green bay Packers 38 to 21 now we're five and two on the season ladies and gentlemen that is amazing right there hey i'm telling you if this happens in real life that'll be crazy so now we're going to the place based the indianapolis colts they're three and four on the season my man carson Wentz is looking to get his get back because they did him dirty Oh, uh, last year in Indianapolis. Now we're five and two. Let's see if we can make it six and two. Terry's going back to Indianapolis. That's his home, by the way. And we do. We beat the Indianapolis Colts, and now we're facing the one and six Minnesota Vikings. So it's looking like Kevin O'Connell, Kirk Cousins aren't figuring it out there in Minnesota. Now we're flying high. Though. We're six and two. At week nine during the season, this is where we're going to bust out the all-black uniforms, man, for the first time in real life. So let's see if we can beat the um, Minnesota Vikings here. Let's go. Let's go if we can continue to carry this momentum here. And we actually lose. What? We lose to the 1-6 Vikings. You go from beating the undefeated Green Bay Packers to losing to the Minnesota Vikings that are 1-6. I know I would be heated in real life if this was to happen. The same scenario and everything. Like, if we're 4-2, and 5-2 and two rather, you're just coming off a huge win off versus the Packers, then you lose the 1-6 Minnesota, I would be heated right now. But now we're looking to go for the season sweep on the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, we're going to check the division standings after this. We're 6-3, Philadelphia is 5-3. Um, let's see if we can go for the season uh, sweep sweep here. Carson Wentz is going back to the link for the first time in a while. Let's see if we go for the season sweep, and we do. We beat the Philadelphia Eagles 28-20, to and we sweep the Eagles. Let's go. So uh, we're 7-3 on the season. We're facing the 1-8 Texans. There's no way we lose to the 1-6 Vikings and then now the 1-8 Texans. There's just no way. We have to get this victory right here. So now we're 7-3 on the season. Oh, let's check the um standings in the NFC East before we get into the next game. So as you can see, bottom right hand is uh, part of your corner. We're 7-3. Three uh, at the top of the NFC East, and the Dallas Cowboys are trailing us by one game, six and three. Let's go to it. I got the big picture for you guys. Six and three, Dallas Cowboys in second place. Seven and three, Washington Commanders in first. The Eagles are five and four, and the Giants are four and five. This is a real, real competitive division, honestly. And I'll be honest with you guys, if this was to play out like this in real life, I would not be surprised at all. I think this division is going to be real, real close. Um, as far as how those standings showed in Madden. I would not be surprised if that's how it is in real life. But let's go ahead and see if we could to make another win versus the 1-8 and eight Houston Texans. Let's go, man. This is actually going uh, way better than what I thought it was going to do, actually. Um, and we lose. So we lose to the 1-6 and six Packers or, or Vikings, and then we lose to the 1-8 and eight Texans? Come on, man. Are we frauds? We're 7-4 and four now after losing to the Texans. Now we're trying to balance back versus the Atlanta Falcons. Let's see if we can uh, get our get back, man. There's no way we keep losing to these trash teams, man. Are we frauds? Are we frauds? So, look, we bounced back versus the uh, versus the Falcons, and now we're 8-4 and four in the season. Honestly, this is this is where I expect us to be in real life, around this range, 8-4 and four when it comes to Week 13. I'll be honest with you. So it looks like Madden is, is, is right on the same track as me. 8-4 and four is where I think we'll be around this time in real life. So let's see if we can take advantage of the 4-7 and seven New York Giants. Um, and we actually lose. So we're 7-5 and five, uh, or 8-5, and five, sorry about that, um, coming around our bye week. We're, down, we're week 14 and we're 8-5, and five, you guys can see. So now the Dallas Cowboys are 9-3, and three, the Eagles are 8-4, and four, and we're 8-5 and five. again. If this is how the division plays out in real life, I'm not surprised about this at all. This is exactly how I kind of expected to play out, man. I'll be honest with you, minus us actually losing to teams like the Texans. You know, I, I expect us to beat those guys. You know what I'm saying? But now, you see, the games like that, although we did sweep the Philadelphia Eagles, the loss to the Texans kind of is hurting us because now they're ahead of us. But the Cowboys sitting at 9-3, no shocker right there, man. So this is actually planning out how I think it may play out in real life. So coming off our bye week, let's see who we have next. We have the New York Giants again. Let's see if we can go for the sweep again. We already swept the um the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's see if we could beat the uh 
the, go for the sweep against the New York Giants. The five and eight New York Giants. We're sitting at eight and five. We have to shake back now because this division race is getting close and close. And we do. We actually sweep the New York Giants. So is that our second sweep on the season? I believe it is. Did we beat the Dallas Cowboys? I don't know. I got to go back and see if we did. I think we did. But I'm not sure if we beat the New York uh, or if we beat the Dallas Cowboys. So let me go ahead and advance this week against the uh, San Francisco 49ers. We're 9-5. and They're 8-6. and six. So this is going to be a really, really good game. Hopefully, we can get this win here versus the San Francisco 49ers. Let's see. And we do. 10-5. and five. As sitting at um, week 17, Cohen playing against the Cleveland Browns. This will be the Deshaun Watson led Cleveland Browns. So hopefully we can still get the victory. Uh, but we're 10 and 5. They're 8 and 7. This is, again, this is where I expect us to be in real life around somewhere and around the 10 and 5, you know, uh, you know, 11 and 4, maybe even uh, range. So let's see if we could beat the, uh, the Cleveland Browns. So let's go. 1 p.m. FedEx Field Week 17, and we actually lose to the Cleveland Browns. So I guess we will not be winning the division, but let's give you one last look on the regular season uh, standings for the NFC East, okay? So let's go ahead and look at it. So the Cowboys and the Commanders both clinch playoff berths. That game hurts versus the Dow uh, versus the um versus the uh browns last week because if we win that game and dallas loses we possibly had a chance to beat them and maybe take the division crown a week 18 man for the division crown but we lose but on the same token we still clinch the playoff berth so that's good man i know my real life self is going crazy right now because we clinched the playoff berth now in this week 18 game doesn't mean nothing for the washington commanders or the dallas cowboys so i'm pretty sure we're going to be playing our backups but it will be nice to take some momentum into the playoffs so let's see if Washington can beat the 12 and 4 division crown uh, Dallas Cowboys and we actually lose but look who we play in the first round of the playoffs Tom Brady again just start telling Haneke just start telling Haneke so we could win but we play Tom Brady in the first round of the playoffs and again Madden seems to be on track with this because if this is to be true like like if this was to happen in real life I would not be surprised if we come in second in the division get a wild card spot and play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers no surprise so let's go ahead and let's see if we can advance the week man versus the uh Tampa Bay Buccaneers man let's see do we knock off Brady did we knock off Brady? And we didn't. We got destroyed. We got destroyed 49 to 21. But, hey, man, I ain't going to lie. Madden hit it right on the head low key. Like, some of the games, obviously, that I have us winning, they have us losing, like, the Texans game, you know, the Vikings game. They have us losing those games. I have us actually, I believe, winning those games. So, they, they got some games off, but for the most part, they're right in the same vicinity that I'm in. 10 and 6, 11 and 7 is where I have us finishing on the season. So, hey, man, maybe it's going to come true because not only do I think it's going to happen, but Madden also thinks it's going to happen. So, yeah, man, there you have it. As always, it's me and Boy Juan Gotti. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, Madden decided to predict the Washington Commanders' regular season record. According to Madden, we're getting the playoff berth. So, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, me and Boy Juan Gatti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hell, so watch the commanders. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So that subscribe button again if you haven't already. I'm out. Uh, cross me one time. That's going to get you pop. Get you pop. Uh -huh.